Greetings and thank you once again for the opportunity to come to you and spend this time with you in the Word of God. This week we're talking about receiving healing through the Word. Uh, what we've emphasized is that there is healing power. God's healing power is in His Word. His Word is like medicine. And when His Word is received and we hear the Word and act upon it, release our faith in it, then healing is affected in our bodies. Today, I just want to take a few moments to remind us of that healing word, those healing scriptures. And um, then we're going to learn how to release our faith in that and receive our healing. You know, the Bible presents or gives to us several healing scriptures, healing promises. In Exodus 15 and verse 26, God said, None of these diseases will come upon you because I am the Lord who heals you. So none of these diseases. He's telling his people. I you know, said, so all those things that happened in Egypt, none of those things will come on you because I am the Lord, your healer. Next verse 23, verse 25. He says, you will serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from your midst. And the number of your days I will fulfill. So God is saying, I will remove sickness from your life. I will bless all that you eat and drink. And you will live out the full length of your life. In Deuteronomy 7 and verse 15, he says, I will take sickness away from your midst. So God is the one who takes sickness away, not the one who brings sickness in. He takes it out. That's our God. In uh, Psalm 91, he says, verse 10, No evil shall befall you. No plague will come near your dwelling. He says in verse 16, With long life I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. So God says, No plague, no disease will come near your dwelling. We know Psalm 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. He forgives all our sins. He heals us of all our diseases. God is the healer. And he heals us of all our diseases. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 is quoting from Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4. He says, surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our diseases. Surely Jesus bore our sickness, carried our pains so that we don't have to bear them. We don't have to carry them around. That's the word of God. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Romans 8, 11. He gives life to our mortal body. Yes, this mortal body is, this body is mortal, but the Holy Spirit is giving life to every cell in your body. And therefore, when he, the Holy Spirit gives life, then sickness and disease has to leave. In 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 13, Paul says the body is not for sickness, but it's for the uh, is not for sin, but it's for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. If the body is not for sin, then body is not for sickness either. It's not for anything evil. It's not for anything that comes from the devil. The body is not for sickness. It's for the Lord. And the Lord is for the body. The Lord is Jehovah Rapha. He is fully for the body. He's giving his health and healing and wholeness to the body. And there are so many other, there are so many other scriptures that encourage us to believe God for healing. You heard the healing scriptures by his stripes. You were healed. If God has said, I was healed, that is truth then I am healed, then I want to walk as a healed person by the wounds that Jesus bore. Let's pray. Father, we've heard your healing words. None of your words will return to your void. Let healing be administered to every person listening today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.